Good morning and welcome back to another video of mine. This is like a school day, which is typically a rest day, so I kind of wanted to show some elements of that. Um, I did not go to the gym in my on Monday just because I worked out on Sunday and didn't feel like it. I was kind of thinking of going to the gym today, but I don't know if I am, to be honest, and I probably won't. Definitely going to go tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, so, like I said, I live in a very rural town. We have a Dunkin' Donuts, but we don't have Starbucks. But there is a Starbucks near my school, and I do like to get a drink um, before class. And I'm going to show you what I get. And, yeah, so, see where this video takes us. I also forgot to show you guys, but I don't fast on school days just because I'm not going to make it. Typically, I have to leave my house by like 9 30 and I usually if I come back to my house right after class then I won't be back home till like 1 30 but typically I have to like run errands or like go see my mom and do something which is what I'm doing today I have to go do my taxes at my mom's house uh, also <laughs> last week I had ordered a public sub online and I ordered a whole, which is like a foot long. It's not a foot long, but it's like a whole sandwich. And they only gave me half, so I need to go there. And they told me they would make me the other half, so that's gonna be my lunch. I can like share like what I get on my sub um, as a person who doesn't really eat meat. Yeah, and it's actually not bad calorie-wise. I think it's like 310, 320 calories for half the sub, which is all I'm gonna eat, so. Yep, and I'm not looking at my phone if you're worried. It's just in, like near me and I'm looking right ahead. Morning, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can we get for you? Hi, can I please get a grande iced coffee with cream and Splenda? How many? Uh, one. just one. Okay. And can I get that blended? You want us to like make it and then just throw it in the blender? Yeah. All right. Anything that'll, else? Nope, that'll be all. All right. 315, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So I'm running a little behind, so I'm just gonna explain while I park. Um, you saw what I ordered from Starbucks. It's pretty good. I probably should have said two Splenda. The guy who made it last time, like, I guess knew the amount to put in there. Um, so it's not like super sweet, but it's not unbearable either. And it's only 55 calories and like 1.5 grams of carbs. So this is my half veggie sub. I get it on whole wheat with honey mustard, provolone, tomato, onion, green pepper, spinach, lettuce, oregano and sub sauce. Sorry in that last clip if my voice sounded weird, I was just talking to my mom and we speak in this weird little accent together. So I'm eating lunch, it's noon. I haven't gone to the gym yet, but I didn't feel like going fasted today because I was hungry. So this is one of my favorite meals. It's the bird's eye chickpeas and spinach steamer meal. It's like 320 calories, has a good balance of macros. It only takes five minutes in the microwave and it's pretty filling. So this is definitely like a meal that I'm going to be like taking with me to work when I have to start like taking my lunch and stuff just because it's so easy, like no prep required. I just wanted something like kind of filling with some carbs so like power me through my workout. You're just to deal with my crazy hair until I can put it up for the gym. I was really thinking about not going today. Um, I'm just like kind of tired, not feeling it. But I think I'm going to have... A little snack of some cashews drink some water put my gym clothes on and go like these are the times when I kind of wish I had pre-workout um, I did order some samples from Alani new um, I want to say it's by Katie Herons but maybe I'm wrong um, anyway I ordered some samples I ordered a couple of pre-workouts and some BCAAs I'm really more interested in the pre-workouts but honestly I just wanted to try the BCAA flavors because they were interesting like rocket pop flavored anyway I don't know if I will ever spend that much in pre-workout just because I know C4 is cheaper but I also like mm, about C4 because I've used it in the past so 
it's kind of, the weather's kind of eh outside, so maybe that's also why I'm feeling like this. I feel like I have no energy. But I'm going to eat my snack, drink some water, maybe like watch a half an episode of Suits, and then get ready to go. I'm about to go to the gym. Welcome to my messy ass bathroom. Um, let me show you what I was wearing. The, um, these are the first time I'm wearing these Marika, they say control top leggings. Um, I don't know if they're really a control top. I mean, they're hot, they come up high. The material is kind of weird. It reminds me almost of like a pantyhose feeling. They do have pockets, which is awesome. Um, I don't think that they're like squat proof. So that's why I'm wearing them on arm day. Cause like you can see my underwear like right there in BD. And then I'm wearing the shirt from Old Navy that I really like. It says like, get a girl. I have two of them that I got from sale, super cheap. Yep. so this one I'm wearing. Oh, and Nike Lunar Stellos that are like old as fuck. So my plan is to warm up, do my arms, um, think about doing abs, I don't know yet. And then I hope to walk on the Stairmaster after for at least five minutes. That's my plan. And then probably some of the stair stepper. I'm so glad I went to the gym because that was one of the best arm days I've ever had. I lifted heavier. I kept my heart rate up. I was sweating the entire time. I finally used a barbell to do a bicep curl instead of a dumbbell and it was like so empowering because I thought I couldn't do it because I thought 20 pounds I can't even do you know <clears throat> a 10 pound curl sometimes. I can't do 20. Girl I could and I filmed some of it. So I don't know if I need to go to Publix. I think I might because Walmart didn't have like one or two things that I needed. I'm gonna drink my Fairlife protein after my workout. This one is completely different than the last one. I swear, they make like 30 of these. This one is 11.5 ounces, 150 calories, 30 grams of protein. My mom found these in a pack of 12 at BJ's for $15.99, I think. Um, so she bought them for me because I had just mentioned them to her. So thanks mom, but like I said, I don't know. They make so many different ones of these, I can't keep up. So I just went into Publix and I do this sometimes after the gym because it's in the same shopping center. Just to, A, I was looking for living grass. They didn't have it. And then B, I wanted to like see what their BOGOs were. So I did find a couple of good things and I'm like super happy to dry. I think I only spent like $12. So yeah, I do this sometimes. I don't always include it in our budget because it's not a weekly thing. Alrighty, so I wanted to do a Publix haul. These are all pretty much new stuff for me. So I want to try these chickpea puffs before, but they're like really expensive. But the pepper ones were on sale for like a dollar and some change. So I picked them up. I saw the chili cow bars in the frozen section. And they also had a $2 off coupon this week. So there's five bars per box, regular, regularly $4.99. Um, but two dollars off made them two ninety nine, and they have six grams of protein. I'm gonna do math in my head. Nine net carbs, and they're one hundred and ten calories. So I'm definitely gonna try this tonight. I got the dark mint chocolate chip. I picked up some curry paste because I don't think I got the right one for the Thai curry I'm gonna make tonight. I wanted to make sure I got the right thing, so got some Thai curry paste. And then another YouTuber I watched, she had mentioned these Alexia um, risotto things. And I had been looking for them. And they're actually BOGO this week at Publix. I found them in like the vegetable section. So this is the butternut squash risotto. And this is the cauliflower risotto. They do contain cheese, so they're not vegan. Um, this one is 210 calories for the whole bag. And this one's 240 for the whole bag. So I figured it'd be a good lunch could add some vegetables to this and it would be tasty so that's what I got at Publix it was about $12 so yeah like these are the only times I really shop at Publix is when I just need to stop there to like get something or see if they have lemongrass and then I just peruse their sales okay let's do a live taste test I'm just gonna try one they look like this it's not bad at all 
They're pretty crunchy. Yeah, those are good. These are the pepper flavor. I really want to try the cheese or the sriracha one, but they're like over three dollars for a four ounce bag. <laughs> but a dollar something isn't bad. I also like that compared to like a Cheeto puff, these are like dense per like bite. 